Now that we have our table created, we can start entering in records. But, and a record consists of all the data within a single line item. For example, this is going to be my first record. What's my asset tag? It says new. It's auto number, remember? So it's automatically going to generate a number for me. So I'm not even going to touch that. I'm going to click in the manufacturer field, click on the drop down arrow, and choose, let's say, spy tech, and click OK. And then I can hit the tab key. I can either type in the date, which again, this field only accepts dates, or I can click on the little calendar that's adjacent to that field. When I clicked in the field, see my cursor flashing? Click on the little date icon, and then I can go ahead and choose a date, maybe a couple of months back here. Let's say we purchased this computer back in May of 6, 2008. Click on it, pops it in. Hit the tab key again, I can enter in my purchase price. Let's say $656, hit the tab key automatically converts it to currency. Now if I wanted to add cents, you know, I'd click back in here and I could type in 45, hit the tab key. And then with the warranty, I can use my mouse to check it, or I can use the space bar on the keyboard here, hit the space bar to get rid of it, hit the space bar to check it back. Now during this whole time that I'm entering in this data here, which will make up this record, a complete record, you can see over to the left hand side it's got this little, looks like a little pencil. That means it's still writing the record. If I close out of the database right now, that record would be saved. But to save a record, you can go ahead and hold down the shift key and hit enter on the keyboard. That automatically saves the record, so it gets rid of that little writing tool at the row header here for that record that we're entering. Or you can click down in a new record down below. That will save it. In any case, you got a few options. You can also save the record just by closing out of the table. For example, let me click here and let's start anew. I'm going to go ahead and click on the drop down arrow and let's do Macron and click OK. Hit the tab key again, another date. I'm just going to choose any date to speed this up. And let's say we paid $452 for this. Hit the space bar and then I can go ahead and hit enter on the keyboard and it automatically adds that record. Holding down the shift key, hitting enter will actually keep you within that line item but save the record. If you hold enter, it moves to the next line item and all you have to do is hit the tab key, go ahead and pull down the next drop down manufacturer that you purchased this computer from and then continue on with your records. So now I've got two records. Fantastic. So the difference between the data sheet view, which is what you see right here, and the design view, which when I right click, I can go back to the design view, is the design view is the structure that you would like created in your table to be able to enter in data. So again, right click, and I can go back to data sheet view. Or again, just click on the view button to toggle back and forth between the two. That works as well. So really, it's that simple to start entering in data, of course, after the table has been created and the appropriate fields have been added. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.